What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, I made this Futurama rug and I'm really proud of it. So, figured I'd make a Tuft and Talk episode so we could just talk about the process of making this rug. Anyway, it all started when I was at work and my coworker mentioned that Futurama is on for a new season. And I've heard the news and stuff before, but I thought that it like got shut down because the Bender voice actor I think was saying something about them not offering him enough money to come back so he was refusing to do the new season but I guess he changed his mind either okay either he changed his mind or uh, Hulu uh, offered him a bigger bag or something you know for him to come and do Bender because you don't have the show without Bender right so Futurama is on for a new season. I was freaking out when I heard it was official and I immediately knew that when my new canvas came in the mail and that when I put up the canvas, I, I'm going to draw an awesome Futurama piece on there so I could tuft it. So that's what I did. This is actually a piece as well that I um, painted in high school, but here's the thing. I only got like 70% done, I think. I think I got all the outlines of the characters. This same exact image back in high school, so like seven or eight years ago. I, uh, I did this same exact image and I never finished it, so it feels really good to have came back seven years later and finished an awesome piece that I can feel proud of. And it's like I, I can now sleep easy at night <laughs> knowing that I, f I came back and, and finished this Futurama piece because it was kind of haunting me. That painting, um, that painting followed me for like four to five years until I think I just threw it out one day when I was moving or something. And yeah, like I said, it was about 70% done. I think Fry was painted, Bender had been started, and then Leela just wasn't. And I just, I don't know, I, I couldn't muster up the courage to finish it. Does that make sense? Like. There was just something in my brain just stopping me, and uh, that was always disappointing. So again, this this Futurama piece really means a lot to me because of that reason, and because I just really love the show. So yeah, this rug has some uh, deep lore to it, some might say. So here I'm just getting some nice outlines for Bender's eyes, eye mask looking thing, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I'm just tufting away, lost in thought. I don't even have my headphones in. So I am just, it's just me and the noise of that gun. Sometimes I find that relaxing. Sometimes, a lot of the times I do like to use my headphones and put on a podcast. You really do get lost in the work and in the podcast. But yep, I don't know if I mentioned, but as you can tell, I'm doing a double outline on everything. So when you see me tuft over something once, I'm tufting over it twice. Oh, this edit is cool. Ready? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, get that last one. There we go. Yeah, so things have been going really good though for my small artist business, you might call it, what I run on Instagram. I've been getting so many commissions it's kind of blowing my mind it's like i'll get one do it and then i'm like okay that was cool and then a few days get another and then a f and then a few days later actually i got two huge commissions like you know that somebody wanted some some um some more pricey pieces that had a lot of detail so uh yeah that was a big one that came through this guy wants to uh Pretty big pieces, it's it's Lilo. Or sorry, it's Lilo and Stitch. It's Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. What am I saying? 
It's Stitch from Lilo and Stitch is the first commission he wants. And then the second is Princess Peach. And they're both like 35 inches in size, like both ways, like huge, huge three foot rugs. And uh, yeah, I'm just really happy and I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna kill it and make this guy um, happy that he chose me. So I'm really stoked on that. Oh yeah, as you can see, I tufted in the wrong blue. Like, I, I tufted in a dark blue when I knew it should have been a light blue, but I just, I think I was just tired at the time. I didn't want to buy light blue yarn, and I thought, okay, let's just do dark blue. Nope, because then Leela's, Leela's dark purple hair got lost in the blue, so I had to pull out all that yarn. And as you can tell, I'm just re-tufting in the uh, light blue yarn. You can see the canvas is kind of ripped up a bit from all that yarn being taken out, but I'm actually really proud of that canvas. It held up really well, so I'm just gonna keep buying that canvas, even though it's expensive. Um, it's $30 to for that canvas to get that, to um, fit on that frame, so that gives you an idea how expensive it is. But it held up when I pulled all the yarn out, so I'm really happy. Anyway, just gluing up the piece, cutting it out, nice and easy, nice and easy, yes, cut around. I'm not gonna lie, it was actually really annoying cutting this thing out from the back. It kept folding onto the glue, getting stuck, but I, I did it. I stuck through it for the cinematic shots, so you're welcome. <laughs> Here, I cut the excess canvas and I fold it over. I do this on purpose because you don't want to just cut it outright uh, because then the canvas will start like breaking apart and it, it like loose threads like underneath your rug. It's not good. You want to fold over your canvas. So that's what I was doing there. Here I am applying a premium felt backing that I got from Amazon. And yes, there is such thing as premium felt. There's I've had, I've used them both. There's cheap felt and there is premium felt. And the cheap felt is, uh, it's really thin and really flimsy and it just doesn't feel like it'll hold up. So you buy the premium felt, which is like thicker, better material, blah, 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 all that. Consume, consume, buy, buy, buy. No, but really I, there's <laughs> so much stuff I buy for uh, making these rugs, it's ridiculous, but I really enjoy it, I really love it, and at the end of the day, it absolutely blows my mind that I'm able to make some decent money, some decent side money for now. You know, I'd love to do this full time one day, but some decent side money for now and I get to make art, have fun, make videos, grow a following on Instagram. So things are feeling really good here. But yeah, just shaving the rug away. You can see I have a mask on. Um, I do that because the yarn, the like tiny little strands of yarn just are floating everywhere. There's yarn everywhere and it's really uncomfortable to breathe that in. You don't really want to breathe that in. So here, it might look like the piece is done, but not quite. So what this is, is the final step. Yeah, my. You see how the video is wobbling? It's because my phone's mounted on a light and I keep hitting the light with my elbow and it's wobbling. Anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm just separating any yarn that's overlapping and after about an hour of that, we have a finished product. There you have it, finished Futurama piece. I couldn't be any happier with it. It's absolutely amazing, my favorite piece. Thanks for watching, bye.